and it's nice to see everybody together here and oh acorns went in and out there so we are going to be going around all the classes and asking you to share your star nominations this afternoon and i have one or two extras that parents have sent in about things that you've done at home so that's lovely because it's really hard to do anything really at home isn't it but i do have one or two so we'll get to those as we go along so what's going to happen is when it's your turn class teachers can you make sure you pin your screen and i'll try and do the same from here and i'll keep stump so nothing it doesn't keep coming back to me uh, and then we should be able to see all the children who have celebrate have been chosen for this celebration assembly okay so i'm going to start with acorns so i won't be going through year by year but i am going to start with acorns so mrs tyson good afternoon Okay, our first nomination is George. Can you come forward, George? George has got this for sharing his extensive knowledge of the planets during our space topic and for his love of numbers. Stand in front of the camera, George. George knows a lot about space. Well done, George. Can you go and sit down, George. Can we have Bo? Bo has been chosen for having such a pleasant and happy attitude and applying this to both her work and her friendships. What a lovely, happy child you are, Bo. Can you stand up here? A little bit shy. There you go, Bo. Well done, Bo. And we've got another George. And we have another George. For always getting involved, investigating and experimenting usually coming away from the water tray looking like he's had a swim there you go george well done big smile and we've got alice alice for confident you can take that with you that's your certificate to take home alice for confidently recalling taught phonics all your sounds and applying it to your reading and your writing all by yourself well done alice and the last one, although I could have written lots of these, we've got Beatrice. For always being so honest, kind and caring and always offering a helping hand. So helpful to her friends and to adults. Can we give Acon class a really big clap? Well done Acon class. Well done there to Beatrice, Alice, George and George and Bo, they were fantastic reasons that you've been chosen, so you should be very proud of yourselves. Okay, our next class that I'm going to is Hazel class. So Mr. Turton's looking on very proudly here, so let's head over to Hazel class. Okay, so um, we're, we're following on the theme with George, because we've got George, uh, and we're giving George an award uh, for his wonderful commitment to all his learning and giving everything a really good go. So, George, can we get your star award? Well done. Hold it up. Look like you just stand just there, George. And our next person uh, is Orla. And Orla's just been a really positive role model and just giving everything just a hundred percent and just being a happy person uh, in the class as well and she's also been helping some other children with uh, trickier questions as well so well done all it we've also got tom in hazel class and he's doing a really good job with his handwriting so sometimes he could like find it a little bit tricky but he's taking lots of care and attention to his uh, letter formation and trying hard with his handwriting so well done tom We've also got Belle, so up you come Belle, and Belle has amazing maths knowledge in recent position and directions topics, so that's from Mr Turton that one, so he spotted Belle for working hard in a recent maths topic, so well done Belle. And then finally, we've got Hamish, so uh, both um, Hortons have been working very hard uh, and we're giving Hamish one for his super spelling in at Spelling Shed and getting really good scores um, and trying hard with that. I think you've been on it like 15 times this week, last time I looked. So good job, Hamish, um, as well. So can we give the children in Hazel class a clap?
I hope you're very proud there, Mr. Turton. Very well good. done, everyone. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So now we're going down to going to beach class. So Mrs. Quinn, would you like to tell us all your Yes, so our first certificate goes to Alex. Where's Alex? Come on, Alex, come up. For so always asking amazing questions to extend his knowledge. He often has to get Mrs. Quinn to do some Googling for the questions. There you go. Show your cat. Hold on. There we go. Well done, Alex. Do you want to put it down? Super. Okay, our next one is for Max. Do you want to come up, Max? And this is for settling in so well to beach class. It's lovely to have you with us. So hold yours up to the camera. Well done, Max. Thank you. Go sit down. And last one is to Yusuf. Come up, Yusuf. For trying really hard with all of his work and it's really paying off. Well done, Yusuf. Hold up your certificate to the camera. Excellent. So giving them a clap, guys. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Sam. And that's everyone. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Thank you, Beach Class. Well done. There's some great reasons there for being chosen. Alex, well done. I like a child in class who really makes the teacher have to work hard. Well done, Alex. Okay, now we are going to move to Sycamore Class. So I'm going to hand over now to Mrs. Padfield. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Padfield, I was. Hello, so here we are, Sycamore class. So our first certificate goes to Macy. Would you like to come out, Macy? And this is for considerate and caring contributions to PSHE lessons. Thank you for your compassion, Macy. Well done, Macy. Our next one is for Alfie Jack. Alfie Jack has got this for being a constant helping hand around the classroom. Thank you for your thoughtfulness, Alfie Jack. Well done, Alfie Jack. Our next one is for Olivia. Now, Olivia's got this for producing a beautifully detailed alternative book cover for our class novel, Super Job, Olivia. And I'll just quickly show that to you if that's okay. There you go, Olivia. And she did this for homework and she put lots of effort into that. Well done. And our last one is for Finley. And he's got this, it's another art one, for creating thoughtful artwork, reflecting the resurrection for our, for our RE Easter theme. Well done, Finley. And this was um, Finley's artwork. Wow. wow. So well, done. well done, everybody. Thank you, Sycamore class. There's some super artwork and some very caring and helpful children in there. So that's a, those were great reasons to hear in there. I'm going to do a couple of the uh, other things that we have from home now. So it might be nice if um, Ella Cloran and Eva Cloran could just be stood in front of the camera for a minute. Don't be shy. Okay, are we both there yet? Here we go. Here she is. Okay, so well done you two. Your mum sent this to me and said that both of you took part in the fundraising memory walk in Morecambe last week and you raised money for the Alzheimer's Society. As a team, and obviously you had to be socially distanced, you made over £1,000 for the Alzheimer's Society and you were a real team. So the youngest person in the race was Ava, who is only six. The oldest person was 97 years old. So what a team that was. And you together, you managed to cover lots of miles, raise lots of money, £1,000. So can we give Ella and Ava a really big clap? Well done. Okay, girls, do you want to sit down? Thank you. The next person I would like to ask to be stood in front of the camera, oh, she's going to be very shy, I'm sure, is Erin, where's Erin in beach class? Erin, can you come and stand in front of the camera? 
Well done, Erin. Now you've got an award and it's from a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, actually. But just before Christmas, before we could have, before we had to stop doing all these lovely things, you achieved a 100 metres certificate in swimming. And you got your certificate through the post, which was a lovely surprise in lockdown. So that's an amazing achievement. And you should be very proud of what you did there, Erin. So can we give Erin a clap? everybody well done erin good girl okay so my next class the stars now in the next class i think we will go to holly class and miss walton oh so it was really hard to choose the children from a holly class because we've been working so hard at home and when we come back into school it's kept going but after some careful chats with mr garvey and mrs fisher We've chose these four children. So our first one is Isabella. Do you want to stand up, Isabella? So Isabella has been given her star award for always being kind and um, to others and being a fantastic friend to everyone. Well done, Isabella. Do you want to sit down for a second? That's it. And then our second one is for Annabelle. There you go, Annabelle, if you come. Hey, oh, 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 that's it. And that's for developing your confidence in maths, allowing you to work independently. Well done, Annabelle. Go and sit down. And then we've got Obi. And Obi got his um, certificate for his outstanding performance of the owl and the pussycat. So we were learning about that in English. And Obi was able to recite it without the words in front of him. It was really impressive. Well done, Obi. Go and sit down. And then finally, we've got Shahad. And Shahad has got this certificate for making brilliant progress in reading. She's been working really hard, and her phonics is fantastic now. Well done, Shahad. So should we all stand up together, Holocaust, and then we can have a big clap up you get? What? No. Thank you, Holly Class. I have to say, Obi, I think you're going to have to come and say that poem to me because that sounds quite an achievement. And I'm sure you give it a very good delivery as well if your singing is anything to go by. I'm sure the way you can say a poem is just as good. So a brilliant thing to achieve there. Well done to everybody in Holly Class. Thank you, Miss Walton. Okay, next, I'm going right to the top of the school. I would like to go to Oak Class and Mrs. Padfield at uh, Mrs. Padfield, Mrs. Fitzgerald, if you would like to tell us what you've achieved in. Hello. Hello. We see. Hello. <laughs> Rose, I don't know what happened, but we're back. Thank You're you. Back. Just before I read these out, Mrs. Thomas, I just want to say that Mrs. Poole and Mrs. Darlington Knight and I are so proud of every single child in Oak Class. The way that they um, committed themselves to hard work and dedication during their home learning was a real inspiration. And because of that, they all continue to learn and make progress and produce some work to be really proud of. So they are all our stars. But we have chosen these three. So the first one is Will. Would you like to come out, Will? And you might have to stand a bit further back, otherwise we won't be able to see you. So maybe just stand there. And, I tell this. and then I tilt. There he is. Okay. <laughs> so Will has got his certificate for your fantastic contributions to all our learning, both at home and in school and for being so enthusiastic about our current topic work. Well done, we're proud of you. Have Will was say, our first Will, one. Mrs Fitzgerald, Will looks like a giant. <laughs> <laughs> well, like your head's on the ceiling. <laughs> okay, and our next one is Lucas. Do you want to come out, Lucas? Come and stand where we can see you. Can we? Yes, we can see him there. So, Lucas, you've got this for being such a happy and cheerful member of Oak Class and having such a positive mindset all the time and trying your hardest. Well done, Lucas. And finally, we've only got three today. Our final one is Amy. I think you can stand up where you are, Amy. Just tilt her there she is. 
And this is from returning to school with such a fantastically positive attitude and work ethic. We are really proud of you, so you keep it up. Good girl, Amy. Let's give them all a big clap. <laughs> Well done, Oak Class, and it's so pleasing to hear that you managed to keep working during lockdown. It was hard, I know, but it was so important for you, especially in year six, because you'll soon be going up to high school. So it was really important that you kept going. So that's great testimony to you and to your resilience. Well done, Oak Class. <laughs> okay, I'll do my other two people that I've got now for um, other things that they've managed to achieve. And I will try and show something in a second. So I would like Macy and Ruby Wilson to come on down, please, if you can come to the camera. Okay, there we are. Beautiful faces. So these were, this is four things that you did in December again, just before we were kind of when we were able to do a few more things. And this was for a dance choreography competition. And you did a duet, I think, a duet dance together to the routine. Now, see, this seems so long ago, but if I start, if I say what this is, it'll be in our heads and we won't get it out of our heads at all. But it was to the Mariah Carey song. All I want for Christmas is you. So let me see if I can now show your certificates. Give me a second to see if I can share my screen. Just a minute, because I've got some fo photographs of your certificates down here. So here's the first one. Go back, Mrs. Thomas. You've gone too soon. Okay. So... Mm. Now, I can't get those up. I'm so sorry, but there were two certificates. I'm really sorry about that. There's a photograph that won't go out of the way. But there were some comments on that said you had great rhythm, that the moves really fitted with the music, and that there were good levels and use of space, and that it was very mature choreography. Gosh, I feel like I'm on Strictly Come Dancing. So well done to you two. You obviously did a great job to All I Want for Christmas is You. So can we give them a clap, everybody? Well done. Okay, and last class that we are going to now is Willow class. And I'm just going to plug myself in because my battery's flashing. So give me one second. We'll get, we'll put, pin up Willow class and I'll. Okay, we're ready. Thank you, Mrs. Thomas. Right, okay. As all the teachers have said before, I'm really proud of Willow class because they've all come back in and really, really relished the challenge of getting down to some really good work here in class. I've been so impressed with what they've done and what they've committed to and they've done it with smiles on their faces. So it's been lovely to see that. So thank you very much for each and every one of you. Okay, my Star Awards this month First one is going to Daniel Barnes. So if you can come up, Daniel, please. And I've given Daniel the certificate for showing determination during maths and contributing with enthusiasm. So keep it up, Daniel. You really deserve that award. Just Okay, my next award is going to go to Ryzan. So if you want to come up, Ryzan. So lots of celebrations in your family tonight, isn't there? Fantastic. So I've given this to Ryzan for showing enthusiasm for her maths as well. But even when she finds it a bit tricky, she's not given up. She's stuck to her guns and she's persevered and she's getting there. So really well done because uh, you've been a superstar with your math. So well done, Rosanne. Okay, my next one goes to Adelaide. So Adelaide has demonstrated a great understanding of our text in English. And she's asked constructive questions to further her understanding. So it's been really thoughtful thinking and intelligent questions. So well done, Adelaide, that's fantastic. And my last one is gonna to go to Lena. Lena has got this because her writing, she's worked really hard during lockdown at home, 
and she's managed to improve her writing and her spelling in English and your efforts are really paying off and you continue to do that when you've got back into school. So really well done, Lena. Keep up that fantastic work, so thank you very much. And I just have a, an extra one to say, and I don't think you got the certificate, Mrs. Thomas, but we do have an extra award in class for one of the child who I got a certificate from. Uh, Daniel Falconbridge, if you want to just stand up, Daniel. Uh, Daniel has taken part in a Star Runner Challenge, and he has managed to complete uh, a five kilometre run. So he's managed to do that during lockdown. Do you want to just show them your certificate? Wow. So he's done really, really well and managed to run for five kilometres. I can say it's quite a long way. I struggle with five kilometres. So well done, you, Daniel. That was amazing. Well done. Can we give everybody a clap, please? <laughs> Well done, well done Willow class and well done Daniel. No, I hadn't had that one, so I'm glad we managed to fit that one in. I have one last um, mention now. So I need, at this point, Charlotte and Isabella Wilson to come to the front. Come on down, please. <laughs> okay so your mum let me know and i hope i might have a photograph of this but i believe last week in the post you both received a blue peter badge now that's a big achievement you sent in a collage picture that you made during lockdown so let me see if i can find you two with your uh let's see just see if that comes up I hope everybody can see that lovely photo of the two girls there wearing their blue Peter badge. So, well done, girls. Let's come off this. Okay, hope I'm back now. Well done to Charlotte and Isabella. Can we give them a clap, please? Well done. Okay, I hope I haven't missed anybody out. I think we've done all our, our classes, all our nominations. So well done, everybody. We're breaking up tomorrow for the Easter holidays. So two weeks off school. We've had three weeks back and then two weeks off, which is good. We're all ready for a little break. But don't forget tomorrow we have our special day where we're kind of having our pilgrimage walk around the school field and doing different things as we move around the school field. So everybody tomorrow is going to be outside for about 30, 40 minutes. So quite a bit of time. And the weather forecast is not very good tomorrow. So it might be that you're lucky enough and you get the sunshine or you might fall outside when it's the showers. So you need to make sure, and it's also quite cold tomorrow, a bit colder than today. So please make sure you bring warm coats and something that will keep you dry. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. We've got some visitors coming to help us do our pilgrimage walk tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you enjoy it. So thank you, everybody. Let's give yourselves a really big clap again. Great achievements, great work, and well done to everybody for all their hard work this term. Okay, goodbye, everybody. I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.